What a beautiful, beautiful moment. Just like that. Oh! 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 It's cool, Bo, ready? It's called Halicidota. Halicidota. Tessalaris. Tessalaris. All right, folks, it's night number two, Roan Mountain, Tennessee. Uncle Bob here. We've got our second mercury vapor light. This is the, the Temple of Mothra, and we've got a second mercury vapor light. Um, Uncle Bob, what do you think, man? Are we gonna how are we gonna do here? I think we're gonna clean up here. Clean That'd up. Be awesome. <laughs> yep. Uncle Bob, why don't you tell us about your uh, what's your website and where can some people see your work? Ah, uh, just bobfinephotography.com. Bobfinephotography.com. So my uncle Bob is my dad's brother, and he was a guy that was very instrumental in um, when I was a kid inspiring me to be a, become a mad butterfly moth scientist so here we are today family reunion and we are setting up the mothra temple uh so that when night finally falls uh over the mountains here we'll be able to come out here and, and do some moth photography so uh looking forward to it night, night number two last night was not probably not quite as good as i would have hoped um, but we are going to try it night number two with more juice because I last night I had only one light which is a 175 but now we've got a 250 and a 175 and uh, we'll see how we go so let's see how we do And the mercury vapors come out green on the on the screen there. <laughs> got a little time before it gets dark, but by the time it starts getting dark, those guys will be fully powered. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there was a doe and a fawn outside of our cabin yesterday. Was there? It was great. Lorenzo, did you get a firefly, buddy? Oh my goodness, that is so on video. That is on video, bro. Come on. What happened, dude? <laughs> that is so going on YouTube. Come on, try again. You can do it, man. <laughs> You can make it, dude. You got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on. There you go. There you go. Now you're using the noggin. Yeah, buddy. Where'd it go? Video? Bro, there's one right over there. There's one right over there. What you got? Six fireflies? Oh, yeah, you found one. Here, whoa. Let me see them. Let me see them. Let me see them. Firefly. Okay, keep it still. Lorenzo, what are you guys catching here? Fireflies? Light up. All right, so now we're here with all. Okay, there he goes. Is he going to light up for us or what? No, no. Don't slip down the hill again. All right, Nate. Oh, he did. So Nate Atkinson, and so now how old are you, Nate? Seven. Seven. And now where are you? Where do you live? What state? Uh, America. Huh? <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, right? Okay. Now we're here in Tennessee together at our family reunion, and what are you guys chasing down here? Uh. What are these things that you guys chasing? Fireflies. Fireflies. Yeah, how many have you caught so far? I've caught two. You got two? Yeah. I've gotten a few. A few. But I don't have any. Okay, we let him go. That's well, a good sport. I've caught two in my hand at once. Oh, really? And what's your name? Boom. Huh? Boom. 
Boone, and where, where are you from? Go subscribe to my channel. And you're from Pennsylvania Ow. too. And then there's Bo. What's up, Bo? And you're, you guys are brothers, right? Yes. Okay, and you're also from Pennsylvania. How many fireflies have you caught? Like 25. 25? But he's caught, he's caught in four on his hands. Okay, great. No, eight. Oh, eight. Well, there's a bunch of them down there. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but... Okay, we are here with the Fine Family Reunion, and we got our cousins, Lorenzo. Uh, we've got our moth light up, and we just saw from up on the top of the hill. What'd you guys see? A butterfly that came in. A butterfly? Yes. Or a... <coughs> Dragonfly. Dude, butterflies fly at night? Yes. No, man, it's a moth. All right, no, so, so we, did you guys see anything? No. Well, you guys were chasing fireflies out here, right? Butterfly? Okay, let's let's see if we can go find some. Look, guys, come here. Check it out. Come here, come here, come here, come here. That's an IO moth. You're absolutely right. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can find here. Yeah, let's see. That is definitely an IO moth. Here, look, look at Check him out. Check him out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Where'd he go, Lorenzo? No. See the, see the aisle moth? I can't catch it. No, 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 hold on, let's see. Oh, don't catch it. All right, ready? Don't catch it. See if you can put your finger right in front of his face. You guys do And see if, see if no. you can get him to crawl up on your finger. What? Just like that. Oh, 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 that's so <laughs> <laughs> There he goes. All right, here, guys, watch this. Here, you want a moth? Who wants a moth? Me. Not me. All right, ready? Here, put your hand out. Put your hand ah. out. Oh, my gosh. Go on, it's okay. Is he dead or alive? He's alive. Oh, here, ready? Oh, okay. Here, ready? But they, they, they're kind of, they play dead. Uh, oh, they play ready? dead. Watch, watch, watch. See, he's alive. Oh, yeah. Now you have a moth on your hand. What do you think about that? It looks good. It what do you feel about, how do you feel about that? What the heck? How do you feel about that? You have a moth on your hand. Here, ready? Watch. You just pick them. Here, you want to put them on your hand? Okay, ready? Here we go. We'll put him right on your hand. And there he goes. Can you say Halicidota tessellaris? Halicidota All right, very good. Very good. Close enough. Very good. He's sticking. He's sticking. Let me see, Bo. What you got? Halicidota Can you say, all right, ready? Bo, ready? It's called Halicidota. Tessalaris. See? You got it. Bam. Can you get me a jar? If this guy's not going to move on my hand, he probably won't move on my hand. Do you guys see the IO moth? You guys see? What, what do you guys think those big those big eye spots are are there for there back there? No eyes? No, those aren't real eyes. They make it look bigger. Oh. Yeah, yeah, say that again, Bo. Um, it makes them look bigger because they have bigger eyes and it scares away predators. Scares yeah. away predators. Hey, bro, give me a pound. You got Can it, man. This is called mimicry. Bro, he was right on your pants. Awesome, bro. That's exactly right. They scare away predators with their big fake eyes. Who wants another one? Me, me. I'll have one. Here, ready? Here, let him, let him crawl on your... I want, I want... There it goes. Whoa, 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 that's cool. Like, All right. I, need a jar. I don't have a jar. All right, Lorenzo's got the eye moth. Check that out. Lorenzo, you are the moth whisperer. Cool. All right, folks. So it's night number two, Lone Mountain, Tennessee. And um, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, five o'clock in the morning, woke up early to get out here and try and get some uh, moths on the sheet. But here's the deal, guys. Um, when the moon looks like that, it is just too bright and the moths do not come to your light. So if you can ever plan your family reunions and you're hunting for moths with artificial lights at night, don't do it on a full moon. So uh, we got a big bright moon, even though it was cloudy last night. Um, came down here to the lights and honestly folks with a new 250 watt light I got a 175 watt light over here um, on this 
pure white building here, uh, there's just very few moths. I mean, not what you would expect to see out in the mountains of Tennessee. So that's kind of a lesson learned. Uh, if you ever want to go mothing and be successful, I mean, the, everything is gorgeous and lush. There's beautiful hardwood hammocks everywhere. Um, it's been raining a lot, so the moths should be popping. But guys, they're just not. So what I'll do is I will take you guys around and kind of show you guys what's here. But to be honest with you, it's not, not very impressive at all. So uh, here we go. Now let's see. Hey guys, here is an underwing moth, Katakla, one of the yellow or orange species. Definitely not sure which one. And uh, this guy's giving me a little glimpse of his colors on his hind wing, which they usually don't do while they're at rest. So I'll count myself lucky that he's giving me a little bit of a glimpse of his underwing. That's why they call them underwings. Imagine that. The hind wings are colorful, they keep them hidden, and possibly when they are startled, they will flash. No, he just closed it, so. Cool, underwing off. Uh, I've got a few little guys up here. One new guy that was not here the night before it was this little white Arctean tiger moth here, which is a, it's a pretty cool moth. Got more of these guys. Um, just not a whole lot, guys. Not a whole lot at all. Um, let's see. Got some Nodonid here. It's pretty cool. That looks very uncomfortable, dude. Look at that. Look at the blind sphinx, guys. Gorgeous moth. Open up. Look how beautiful those wings are. What a beautiful, beautiful moth. Little deltoid that's new. Daddy long legs. Uh, yeah, we've got some notodonids. We've got some more of these uh, tiger moths. Plenty of geometrids. Yeah, if you're not a geometric guy, there's not a whole lot to be excited about here, folks. It really isn't. That's so gray. in. Got several more of these big, big beautiful brown geos. Eastern tent caterpillar moth. Oh, it's our first rosy maple. It's got some miles on him. Usually that's a pretty common bug. Oh, there's another Katakla. All right, so there's a Katakla moth. That's Katakla number two. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
and the spider's like, I've had enough, I'm full. Yeah, that's part of the deal. Oh, another Kotako. Oh, that guy looks good. Cool. What are the chances you'd show us your hind wings? Let's see if I can. Oop. No. He wanted nothing to do with showing me his hind wing. We got a little hook tip moth here, geometric. I always like those guys. So guys, look how this moth folds its wings over the back of its abdomen. That is a wicked, wicked looking moth, man. Look at this guy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but his wings are all folded up. And that's how he rests. Guys, look at the mimicry example on this moth here. This moth actually got an orange hind wing, but it never shows it while it's at rest. But man, this thing looks like bird poop. And guaranteed birds would be a lot less happy about trying to eat something like that. Let me see if I can get him. Nope. I didn't want nothing, nothing to do with me. Oh, got another one of these dudes. These guys here crawling around. Oh, there's a sphinx. We saw one of these last night and it was a rag. This one's a really fresh specimen, so that's, that's good. We're gonna take some good pictures of him. There's a big... There's a big leopard moth. Beautiful leopard moth. That's a beautiful bug right there. Let's see. It's a, it's a big girl, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Giant leopard moth. It's an Arteid. Very widespread and common. Their caterpillars are a pain in the butt to raise. It's got a cool abdomen, like iridescent blue with orange stripes. And instead of flying away, he secretes, or a she, this is a she, secretes this yellow stuff out of her head. And I'm gonna guess that doesn't taste good. Let me see if it... It doesn't really smell. Not a, come here. Come here, you. That's not acceptable. Okay, there's, uh, there's another Io. Saw one of these guys last night. Here's another male. You can see the difference in size between the male and female guys. Female's the bigger one. She needs to have all the extra wings to carry around that great big old body full of eggs. Um, the, the fem this female's really fresh. These guys wear out quick, so they the tips of their wings lose their scales very, very quickly on this species. So it's very, you don't, see them, you don't see them this fresh that often. They lose their scales pretty quick. But um, there's just not a whole lot else here that's super exciting. So hopefully as the week goes on and the moon gets a little less intense, but for now, we are gonna settle with what we got and try and do some photography, so. All right, folks, so this is what we call the woolly bear. Gets its name from the caterpillar, which is a big fuzzy black and red, um, fuzzy, fuzzy caterpillar. Looks like a bear, I guess. But this is the adult. They are polyphagous, eat a bunch of different things. Um, they come into the Florida Keys from time to time. I've got a couple of them there. Uh, but this is a very fresh, 
female specimen. So I wanted to make sure I got some pictures of this guys because you don't usually see them that fresh when they're in the Keys. They probably are strays they've flown in from the mainland when they show up there, but um, cool bug, cooler caterpillar. All right, guys, this Katakala is cooperating, actually. It's giving me a glimpse of his orange hind wings. Super cool. That doesn't happen often. Love that. It's a white, white moth. This guy thinks he's a butterfly here. Yeah, it's a great big beautiful brown moth here guys. This is the Ash Sphinx. Check this bad boy out. Gorgeous moth. Fairly fresh specimen here. It's a big one. Oh, that's a cool bug. Fairly common in the eastern United States. Come on, open up. Show us your hind wings. Well, hind wings are brown just like the rest of them are. Figure we try. Now he doesn't really want to uh, get too excited and fly there, does he? wants to sit on his little tree and mind his own business. That's where he's most comfortable. All right, folks, it, end of night two, sun's coming up uh, here on Roan Mountain. And unfortunately, we didn't get quite the number of bugs that we wanted to uh, on our Mothra Chapel. And, um, but we did get some cool things. We got some cool pictures. So um, here's what I'm shooting, guys. I got my Canon 60D. Got a 100 millimeter macro lens and a ring flash, which makes nighttime photography very, very nice. Uh, but if you ever wanted to um, learn how to do, take some more pictures of moths at night, just give me a holler. I'll give you a few pointers, uh, a few of the things that I've learned along the way. But guys, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share us with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. That way when we go on any more moth hunting adventures, uh, we'll get you those videos, even if it's if it's in Roan Mountain, Tennessee, or in the Florida Keys, or every, anywhere else we go. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, let's get out there and uh, enjoy South Florida or wherever you are. There's bugs there. I'm sure there are. Take care.